Let's use CORM to connect to Postgres database. So, first, uh, let's go to the cargo.tml file. We need to add a dependencies Tokyo for runtime. And uh, CORM, we add uh, filters SQLX Postgres. So, we can use CORM to connect to Postgres database. Then, runtime Tokyo. In SRC folder, let's create a new file. Let's give the name user.rs. Let's add uh, this file as a module to our project. So, in main.rs file, let's add a mode user. In user.rs file, let's first uh, import uh, CORM prelude asterisk. In this user file, we will create an active model for user. So we need to create a public struct type. This type's name must be model. Let's add a field ID. Let's give the type i32 integer type. Let's add another field, the name string. Then we need to add an attribute derive debug colon partial equal and equal then derive entity model so when we add uh, this attribute uh, on this model it will generate an um, entity for this model then let's also add a uh, default we use this default uh, to automatically generate a value for id field let's add uh, another attribute uh, for this structure will be CORM, then we will specify the table name. Let's give the table name users. So this model will be used for users table. Let's also add a attribute for its ID field. So let's give the attribute CORM primary key. Then we need a um, create a relation enum and also implement a active model behavior for active model. So let's create a public enum. Its name needed to be relation. We will not add any relation to this user's model. So in this enum, we will not add any variance. Then let's add attribute derive debug colon we must uh, add attribute uh, enum iter and uh, derive relation then let's implement the uh, active model behavior for active model then we will get uh, rid of these arrows then let's go to the windows file first uh, let's add attribute uh, tokyo main for the main function so we can add a, a single keyword before this main function to make this main function as a, a sync function then let's create a connection variable let's create a connection to the database we will call database from crm connector function then we will pass a connector string it will be post grass colon slash slash then is username. My username is Mike. And you should uh, use your username. Then colon will be password. My password is 1234567. Then item. Then it's host. Local host. Then colon will be port 5432. Then slash is database name. So let's give the database name test then let's call a waiter to handle the filter and uh, wrap to handle the result in terminal let's go to the postgres database so let's type a uh, psql let's create a database create a database we will give it a name test just the same name as here let's press enter it will create uh, this database then let's connect to this database slash c test in this database, 
let's create a users table. So create a table users. Let's add a first field ID. We'll give it a type of serial and a primary key. Let's add a second field name. Let's give it a type of var char to 55. Then let's add uh, this powerful parenthesis add a semicolon press enter. It will create uh, its users table. Let's import uh, active model and uh, entity from user.is file. So use user active model. Let's give it uh, another name as user model then entity as user let's use this user model to create a new user so let's create a variable give it a name user1 equal to user model name field let's give it a value we will call site my server from active value to set a value for this name field. Let's give it a value gym the to string. Then we will call default uh, default function to generate the ID for us. Here let's remove one da. There is only two da. Then let's insert uh, this user one to the database. So we will call user one da insert a method then we will pass a reference of this connection as argument then let's call await to handle the future and a wrapper to handle the result let's copy this let's create another user let's give it a name user2 let's change its name to team also here let's change it to user2 let's select all the users from database so let's create a variable, give it a name, all users equal to, we will call user find my third. Then all my third. We'll pass a reference of the connection as argument into this all my third. Then let's call a waiter to handle the future and a wrapper to handle the result. Let's print out all the users. So all users. all users let's call an empty print line so we can add a, an empty line after this print line let's select a specific user by id so let's create a variable give the name u1 equal to we will call user find by id then let's pass our id 1 into this function as argument then let's call 1 my third, then we will pass ref connection as argument. Then let's call await to handle the future and a wrapper to handle the result. Then you can see this u1 is the option model. Let's call a wrapper again to handle this option. Let's print out this user1. So u1 u1 Let's also add a MT print line. So we can add an empty line here. Let's delete this user1. So we will call u1 the delete my third on this u1. Then we will pass the reference connection as argument. Then we will call await to handle the future and a wrapper to handle the result. So it will delete user1 from database. Let's create a variable, give it a name u2. And let's find the user2 from database so user find by id will pass id2 as argument then one will pass a ref connection into this one method as argument then let's call await to handle the future and a wrapper to handle the result let's call a wrapper again to handle the option then let's call into method to convert this model to active model so let's give it a type annotation for this u2 variable will be user model 
Then let's update the this U2. So we need to add a mute keyword before this U2 variable. So we can mute it this U2 variable. So U2 the name field. Let's give it a new name. We will call site method. Then let's give it a new name like Andy. Then we need to call to string. Then we need to call U2 the update method. Then we will pass the reference connection as argument. Then let's call await to handle the future and the wrap to handle the result. This is how we update user from database. And let's select all the users again. So let's copy this code. All users. And let's pass it here. We select all the users and print out all the users. Let's open a new terminal. In terminal, let's cargo run. So first, you can see it will print out all the users in the database. We create two users, user1 and user2. So first user ID is 1, name is Jim. Second user ID is 2, name is Pam. Then we select a specific user by ID. We pass the ID is 1, so it will select user1. ID is 1, name is Jim. Then we remove user1 from database. Then update user2, change the name's value from Pam to Andy. So last time, we select all the users from database. There is only one user in the database, which is user2, ID is 2, and the name changed from Pam to Andy. This is how we use CRM to connect to Postgres database, and how to insert the data, select the data, delete the data, update the data. Hope to see you next time.